Alright, we're going to do a uh, quick tour of my US General 5 cart or 5 drawer cart. I also have the 42 inch top and bottom. That'll be a different video. And then I've got a master hand from uh, Tractor Supply Company, and that'll be a completely separate video if I ever decide to make one on that. Uh, don't recommend that box at all. Craftsman screwdrivers. I've got a headlight, my mirror inspection mirror, uh, Matco pick set, that's a piston out of a uh, AC compressor, out of the older ones. That ratchet is uh, Home Depot, or not Home Depot, uh, Menard, or Lowe's, and it's been replaced two or three times. I don't like it, I don't use it, it just stays over there for backup if I ever need it. Uh, oil filter uh, caps not caps but the uh, removing tool for the canister filters uh, headlight for uh, doing load tests my stream light Put down in the drawers this paperwork is when we get the new sprinter vans in it's the PDI sheet for them my earplugs down here for uh, when I'm doing online testing markers and stuff for that. These are recall codes that we put in the uh, Freightliner trucks. When you do a recall you fill them out. Uh, heat sleeves, zip ties, I think I need to turn my light down a little bit. Uh, pipe dope, wire brush, earplugs, the one the purple ones from Walmart, they actually work. They're awesome. Uh, miniature zip ties for keeping wires and stuff out of the way when you're under the, and doing dash work. They're awesome for that. A little supply of uh, granola bars when you get hungry. Some more brake clean. Looks like we got some engine cleaner in there too. This is primarily my uh, AC drawer because these are new O-rings for when you're doing AC work. My thermometer, Schrader valve tool over here, uh, caps and little odds and end pieces, but there's gaskets for other things in here that ended up making it in here. This, uh, this part up here is a valve for the uh, DPF system on the new trucks, and there's not a tool for getting it out, so I got this screw long enough because when this is in there, you actually almost cannot get it at all, so you put the screw in there and pluck it right out. Works pretty good. The blue point, it's like a 78 piece uh, Torx and Allen kit. These are MIT, Michigan Industrial Tools. They're kind of like Harbor Freight. They're really good. I haven't broke any of them. And I put, put a lot of pressure on them sometimes. Use other wrenches on them and stuff. My old headlamp, I'm using the Coast one right now. This is for locking the glad hand on a trailer, or locking the trailer so you can't put a glad hand on it, I should say. But we don't do trailer work here. This drawer is an absolute catastrophe. But there is stuff in here that's needed. This is for the sprinter vans. Uh, I don't have the spanner wrench, that's the part that holds the uh, pulley so you can spin the fan off there. I've got a glad hand that I put a shutoff valve on, which is awesome for airing up the trucks or using it out in the field to run an air hose off of a truck if you need to. I've got a lot of gaskets in here. There it is. Let me get this thing out of here. It's pretty nasty, but it's useful. This is a turning tool for uh, Mercedes-Benz or uh, Detroit. You bolt it to the bottom of the block, the inspection hole, and you can see the flywheel and the uh, alignment dot. And I've got a special tool that goes on there for turning that, which is in the other box, but we'll go ahead and show it to you real quick anyway. Put that back in the bag. Like I said, it's nasty. This was 
a re snap on reducer from uh, half inch to three eighths. You knock the end of it out, the three eighths ratchet fits on here, that end fits perfect on that tool. And you just use a long handled ratchet. And then, uh, where'd that go? I think I has it right there. Down here. That's from Walmart. It's a, just a little electrical kit. My Ingersoll Rand three quarter inch uh, drive sockets. Use this one mostly for pulling the lug nuts off. small jack uh, water bottle with the air hose in it that I use for cleaning out the DPF the, the dozer nozzles a little jug of oil this is for cleaning out the AC systems I have got two gallons of diesel back there and uh, sprinter specific uh, transmission fluid I've got two fifth wheel pullers pin pullers that's mostly for uh, pulling the coolant jugs out from underneath the trucks or when you change the oil pulling that out this is a transfer a fuel transfer hose see the end on it stick that end in the fuel tank shake it a few times and it'll start flowing out into the jugs which I've got down there eventually what I'm gonna do is get some tread plate and put on the sides and on the back and then one on the front but I'll have hinges and a lock on the front that way I can open it because uh, I come in sometimes and my diesel fuel is missing or my oil is missing or somebody's using my three-quarter inch drive socket you never know so I'm gonna, that's once I get that done I'll put a little video of that of how it looks put that stuff back in there And that's my you know, just scraper. I'm getting ready to clean this block off. It had a leaking head. Number six cylinder was bad. And this is a DD15 with uh, 200,000 miles on it. All right. So there's a better shot of the box. And there's my top and bottom. That thing is awesome. I love it. I've had it forever. Thank you guys.